Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am Maria Martinez. Today, we are focusing on our spirit, cultivating a powerful, beautiful relationship with our spirit, awakening our spirit to its full power and potential, reconnecting it with source, with the universe, with higher self. We're healing and bringing all the splinter parts of her soul, every, all the fragments of her soul or spirit into wholeness, into alignment. Go ahead and take a deep breath. We're going beyond the quantum field into divine intelligence. We're remembering and we're activating the awakening in our spirit its own divine intelligence. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Divine intelligence is the ancient wisdom of the universe. It's vibration. It's divine consciousness itself. Our spirit is part of creation. Is divine intelligence. It's part of our higher self, the original creation. And as we decided to take these journeys and have these experiences as we're having now in this human experience, we created fragments of our spirit existing in multiple timelines, having different experiences. Some are powerful, some are amazing and some may be traumatic. And we're helping our spirit remember that there are many different journeys, there are chapters in our book. It's a role we chose to play. We're not a victim of it. We are creation. We stepped into that role to have that human experience to evolve, to learn lessons, not to victimize ourselves or to stay in the victim form or consciousness. Go ahead and take another deep breath and go ahead and perceive and imagine your spirit now. Go ahead and perceive and imagine, where is your spirit now? Is it in your body? Is it out of your body? Is it somewhere else? Expand your awareness, your consciousness to wherever your spirit is. And notice what it's doing. Notice what it's involved in. Notice if it remembers that it is infinite that it is powerful, that it is pure light source. And if it doesn't, go ahead and awaken it. Sometimes the spirit, as it goes out, it can get distracted or it can be manipulated or deceived and then it gets trapped. So we want to awaken our spirit to its knowing that it's powerful beyond measure. It cannot be trapped. It cannot be held down. It cannot be dimmed. It cannot be diminished. It cannot be destroyed. It's pure light. It's pure creation. And as you awaken your spirit to this knowing, notice the shift in its color. It's an awareness. You're Shifting, you're creating that awakening into divine consciousness. And go ahead and invite your spirit to come back now, now that it's awake, now that I remember, now that I know that it's infinite in power. And as it come, it come back to you, let it take a deep breath. And go ahead and feel into your body. 
and notice what you're holding in your body. Notice if you're holding any energy of disappointment, any energy of feeling let down, any energy of blame or fault or guilt or shame or blame, any energy of resentment, regret. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Let's go ahead and release all of that. We're releasing the emotional entanglement that creates density, that creates lower vibration, that creates feeling stuck being stuck, that creates unworthiness, undeservingness, that creates an environment where the spirit doesn't want to be in. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. You're clearing the clutter in your home, in your temple, in your vessel, so that your spirit has space to come back to, so they can take up space in your temple, in your vessel. One more deep breath. Now the same way that you are uh, found your spirit and awakened it to its divine consciousness, its divine expression, you can awaken the other parts of your spirit that are splinter up in other timelines or that are in other timelines and awaken those parts to come back into wholeness, to complete those lifetimes and come into wholeness. Go ahead and take a deep breath. This practice of connecting with your spirit is a daily practice. And as you continue to be in communion, connection with your spirit, your spirit will know that this is home, that home is here with you. Your spirit will want to be back at home with you. Your spirit will stay awake when it leaves your body. Your spirit will remember that it is infinite and come back not allowed to be deceived or to be manipulated. Go ahead and take another deep breath. And when your spirit is in your body, there's no room for other things to occupy your body. There is no room for entities, rich interferences, parasites, bacteria, virus, or yeast. There's no room for synthetics, microbots, spiders, or serpents, snakes. There's no room for pain and suffering. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Go ahead and invite your spirit to fully come into your body. And if you feel that your spirit is a bit resistant, or if you feel that there's, an, there's a delay in your spirit moving in, go ahead and look at your body. What else are you holding? One more deep breath. Notice if there's any other entanglement, emotional entanglement, program, belief system, pattern. Notice if there are other attachments that are creating a blockage in your alignment, in your embodiment. And go ahead and release them now, bringing in light, love, and healing. Holding your intention to align fully with your spirit, to bring your spirit into full embodiment and take one more deep breath. And notice those areas where you felt blocked, where you felt density. Notice all those areas moving 
out or opening up. And while you're doing this practice, find your way to the center of the head, of your head. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. As you bring your awareness to your center, the center of your head, you're moving into your authority. You're moving into sovereignty. You're moving into ownership. You're becoming the commander of your vessel, your ship, your temple. And you're commanding alignment, flow. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. So go ahead and come in and fully own the center of your head. You may also find it easier to connect to your spirit when you're in the center of your head. You may even see clear where your spirit is or what's happening with your spirit when you're in the center of your head. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Coming into full alignment, full awareness, full awakening. You're also coming into choice. You're choosing to be your full potential. You're choosing to be your higher self. You're choosing to be fully in alignment and embodiment of your ultimate self. You're choosing to be the best version of you. Go ahead and take a deep breath. You're also choosing to embrace your totality. Your spirit has memory of all your other lifetimes. It brings in karmic imprints, ancestral contracts. It brings in karma. And as you take ownership, as you invite your spirit to come into alignment, you're also embracing all that data, all that information. And your intention is to complete to heal, to cancel, to rescind, to revoke all that is no longer serving you, all that is no longer in alignment, all that is no longer needed. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. And as you continue your practice, you may even see yourself standing next to your spirit having a conversation as if you were long time friends. Continue to release, continue to allow, continue to breathe into the light, continue to breathe in the light, the light of source, the light of universe, the light of creation. Breathing it into the center of your head, into your throat, into your heart space. One more deep breath. And go ahead and feel into your body again. Notice if you feel any difference. If you notice any difference in your vibration, in your light, in your body, any lightness, or maybe a feeling of being more grounded. More deep breath. You may also feel more confident, more certain, more resolved. This is what happens when you connect with your spirit, when you embody, when you invite your spirit to come in and have ownership of your body and your mind. You feel more aligned with the light, with source, with universe with infinite possibility, infinite potentiality, infinite divine grace, infinite healing. Go ahead and take one more deep breath.
And now that your spirit is in your body, we want to integrate your awareness, your consciousness with the consciousness of your spirit. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. And we're just going to notice where you feel that this is not possible for you, where you feel not aligned with this, where you're resistant. We often resist because we feel unworthy or undeserving or because we don't think this is possible or real or because we're judging ourselves. We don't feel good enough. Go ahead and take another deep breath. And we're releasing all these thought forms of these belief systems from the cells in your brain and head in the center of your head, around your pineal, around your pituitary gland. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. See, perceive all these thought forms and programs dissolving at the cellular level. And if you're aware that you hold these belief systems in other organs in your body, go ahead and release them from there too. Sometimes we hold fear and anger in our liver. We feel that we hold the feelings of being out of control in our pancreas, overwhelmed. We hold tension and stress in our gallbladder. We hold frustration in our kidney, in our adrenal. These are just some of the belief systems and where we hold them. But tune in for yourself and see, notice, perceive what you're holding. The emotional entanglement with belief systems and thought forms, programs, old patterns. and surrender all of that to source of the universe. Cleaning out the old and allowing space for the new, the new way of being, the new way of moving forward, the new version of you. Feeling more aligned, feeling more confident, more certain, more grounded, more connection. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Again, cultivating a relationship with your spirit takes you being in the practice of it. So find ways to incorporate this practice in your day to day. Maybe first thing in the morning or maybe at the end of the day coming into the center of the head and coming into ownership and authority, coming into your awareness of your divine self, your spirit, and bringing in light, love, gratitude. Go ahead and take one more deep breath. Self-love, self-acceptance, self-love. And then inviting your spirit to connect to its own divine intelligence, to its own divine truth, to its own infinite wisdom, infinite healing, infinite light. Holding the space for your spirit to access all that is available to you Holding the space for your spirit to access its full magnificence, radiance, and brilliance. And knowing that you are part of this. You are one, your spirit. One more deep breath. And feel the energy moving through your body as you're upgrading as you're elevating, as you're peeling away the layers of the old, as you're moving away from fear, from lack, from scarcity, from efforting, from struggle, from pain, into divine alignment, 
into divine truth, into divine love, into divine grace, into divine power, into divine intelligence, divine consciousness within you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just saw a very powerful expansion for you. A very powerful upgrade in your Merkaba, in your light body. Beautiful. Such amazing and powerful work now available for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is done. It is done. It is done. So be it. Enjoy this process. Enjoy connection with self and spirit and higher self. Enjoy being one with your potentiality, with your divine essence, with your divine light, and allowing it to flow through you and all around. Lots of love. Okay. Bye for now.